Welcome back, first graders. Here's part two of Mrs. Spider's Beautiful Web. All right, cameraman, are you ready to zoom on the words? Let me remind them how, I hope it's this working out okay for you boys and girls. If it's not, I'll keep trying something different until we can get it to work out for you. But I'm going to open the book and you don't have to zoom yet. I'm going to show you each page and I will only stay on each page for a little while. So probably not long enough for you to read all these words. So it's really important that you do pause it. So you pause it, investigate the whole page with your eyes by eyes, make sure you figure out every single word. And if it takes you a long time to figure it out, that's okay. Because remember in reading group time, we don't always read a new book every single day. So I want you to come back and visit these videos more than once very important so if it takes a long time for you to use your toolbox and your ice spies the first time if you read it two or three times by the time you get to the third time you're going to have those strategies stuck good in your brain and they'll be easier to use and what you use in this book you're going to use in lots of books so it's very important that you read um, read these books more than once you can do maybe one a week for a little while and by the time you read it the fifth day, those strategies are gonna be really stuck in your brain. And that's what we want the most, boys and girls, so that you can figure out these um, hard words and other books too. All right, so don't go through it really fast and go, okay, I'm done reading it. Because um, just like football players, if they go out and practice one day and they do good, they don't give up on practicing, they keep practicing. Or wrestlers, I know some of you are wrestlers, you don't just have practice one day and say, oh, I'm a good wrestler, I don't need to practice anymore. Well, if you do good on the first time, that's great. Give yourself a pat on the back, but keep practicing because then you'll even get better. So don't be afraid to watch these videos more than once, okay, boys and girls? All right, so my cameraman's going to Zoom and I'm gonna show you, he's gonna get me situated. Hopefully I'm holding the book nice and steady for you. All right, Zoom it really good, okay, cameraman, because I want them to see the words. All right, so here's the title page, Mrs. Spider's Beautiful Web. All right, happy reading, boys and girls. Use your toolbox and your eyes by eyes. Oh, that one you probably, let's do that page again. All right, so get me, get me good, cameraman. Is it good? All right, now I'm gonna do this. Are you ready, cameraman? We good, cameraman? All right, there we go. All right. And here's the next one. I'm trying to get it centered for you. I think we have to hurry or we're gonna have another interruption. Can you send a text for me? Okay, I'm to, I, center me. Good cameraman. Okay. Can't get me centered. Good. I think we saved this from the interruption. Did we save the interruption? Okay, hey, boys and girls, remember, not only do you need to know how to figure out the words, but you have to be able to retell the story. So I hope the story is good and stuck in your brain. If it's not, read it again, and then find someone in your house and tell them about the story. Remember to tell the who 
and the what and and the where i'm gonna write this really fast okay these are your thinking questions like on the back of my other board at school of what to tell about when you're telling about the story so you tell about the beginning you tell about the middle you tell about the end and then you can tell your favorite part maybe you could pretend like you're a news reporter and you can read the story to someone in your family or in your house right now. And then you could pretend like you're a reporter and say, what was your favorite part of the story? Can you tell me why? And let other people share with you what their favorite parts were too, or their least favorite parts, because sometimes maybe we don't like something and that's okay too. And then while you're reading this story, you should be thinking about, hmm, what does the story remind me of? And that's a connection. So you could say, this story made me think about blah, 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 blah. All right, and everyone's blah, 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 blah is probably and should be a little bit different. But something in the story can remind you of that blah, 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 blah. All right, I hope you enjoyed this book. And remember, you can read them more than once. It's very important that you do read them more than once, at least three times each, okay, boys and girls? And that way you're practicing those strategies and they're getting easier and easier and easier for you because I'm going to move you to harder books pretty soon, okay? All right, just wanted you to have a little review before we did that. All right, I miss you very much, boys and girls. I'm so happy we get to read, at least in this way. Happy reading. I love you. Take care. Bye for now. See you soon.